welcome to Cooking with Francois. Today I'm going to make a classic summer dish, uh, potato salad. However, this is sort of my mother's potato salad. Uh, so to get started, of course, you need potatoes. Mama always used what we call new potatoes, which are red potatoes. We're going to dice those up into smaller pieces, about like this or so, maybe a little bit smaller, and we're going to put them into our pressure cooker. Once we put all, cut up all these potatoes and put them in the cooker, we then put six eggs on top. We add one and a half cups of water, and then we cook on high pressure for four minutes before we do a quick release. While it's cooking, we're going to make the dressing that goes on the potato salad. So, I'm going to be chopping potatoes for a little while, and then I'll come back when we start up, start loading the pot. See you in a minute. All right, I have finished chopping the potatoes, and I have rinsed them very well. I am using this because I think I can get more in it, plus I'm scared some of them might fall through on this one. So, we're going to put the potatoes into the pot, like so. You notice I left the skin on them. I like the skin on my potato salad. Um, so I left it on there. If you don't want to use red potatoes, I would imagine you could use some other type of potato. I'm just doing it the way that I was always taught. All right, six large eggs. You put them on top of the potatoes. They'll be cooking at the same time. Oh, I thought I'd broken one. And now we put a cup and a half of water. One cup. And a half. All right. Let me put my basket handles together. I'm now going to put the top on our cooker. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to turn it on and we're going to cook it for four minutes on high. I'll be back in a minute for us to make our dressing for our salad. So, don't go away. All right, our cooker is coming up to heat to cook our potatoes and our eggs. So we're going to make the dressing that's going to go on the potato salad. I also have a bowl with water and ice in it so that as soon as it's finished cooking, we can put the eggs into the ice water so we can cool them down so we can chop them up to go into the potato salad. So the dressing is a half a cup of sour cream. There we go. Look at there. I'm using my baby cheater. I think I've told you that before. This is called a baby cheater. You might call it a spatula, but I call it a baby cheater because that's what my great aunt called it. She said it cheats the baby from licking the batter out of the bowl. So she called it a baby cheater. Oops. So there is our mayonnaise and our sour cream that we're mixing together. Just mixing it together here in the bowl. And to this, we're going to add some salt and some black pepper. As far, let me get my recipe so I make sure I do this right. The black pepper is one teaspoon. So, this is a half a teaspoon, so there's one, 
Now you realize that was two and a half pounds of potatoes. So don't go, oh my gosh, he's putting so much pepper in there. No, it's going to end up being just right. Salt. One. Two. That was three half teaspoons, so that was one and a half teaspoons of salt. Now inside of our dressing. We're now going to add a tablespoon of fresh chopped dill and three-fourths of a cup or one bunch actually of green onions. I didn't use quite all of them. I'm going to use some of the green tops from the onions to decorate the top when we're finished. And I also have some dill for that reason too. So, our dressing's made. So, we're just waiting for it to come to pressure, cook those potatoes and those eggs, and then we'll be back to finish up our potato salad, just as quick as a wink. Well, well, it just went off. So, our four minutes are up. We're now going to release the pressure. Remember, face away. Turned off the pot while we're letting the steam. First, we're going to take our eggs and put them in this ice water bath to cool before we peel them and chop them to go into the salad. Um, I've also got this for the strainer so that we can strain, um, put the potatoes in there so the moisture can be falling off of it also. So, as soon as this finishes releasing the pressure, we will continue with our recipe for making potato salad. Alright, all the pressure has been released. We're now going to open the pot. First thing I'm going to do is take the eggs and drop them into the ice water to cool. There we go. Now I'm going to take the potatoes. I'm going to, oop, I had one more egg. Ha, it was hiding from me. There it is. All right, let those cool down. Let's get these potatoes out of here. I'm getting what's on the trivet out first. Woo Fortunately, I have a spoon here so I can get the rest of these out. Let these be cooling a little bit. I'll be back after everything is cooled a little bit to put the dressing on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add my potatoes to the dressing. Well, I don't know if they're all going to fit in my bowl or not. I think they will, maybe. Gotta be careful, I might have to do it a little bit at a time here. Actually, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this pot, this bowl here, it's bigger, and put it all in here together. There we go. Necessity is the mother of invention. So there you go. There's an example of it. Oh yeah, this is working much better. Let me put the rest of those potatoes in.
right. Got to mention, a friend of mine at Admin brought me the deal, so it's very fresh. They picked it out of their garden. So, let's check an egg real quick. See how it is. Look at that beautiful, beautiful boiled egg. No ring around the yolk or anything. So let's go ahead and peel the rest of these and I'll be back once I've peeled them so we can add them to our salad and we're gonna plate it. And you get to see what it looks like when it's ready to serve even though you're supposed to put it so it'll cool down, you're supposed to put it into the refrigerator for a couple of hours before you um, actually serve it. So, I'll be back when it's time to chop all the eggs. To, extabot, to make things go faster, I have got out my handy dandy chopper. I'm gonna use it chop up the eggs. Well, there are four of them. Put two more in here. Top on. Pull the boat motor. This thing would be great for making egg salad, too. So, now we're going to stir this up. All right, I got my serving platter here. Put it out on the serving platter. Look at there. Boy, that looks nice. Put it out on the platter a little bit neater here. Presentation, presentation, presentation. All right, there we go. Here's our serving spoon. I've got some more of the green onion. I'm gonna sprinkle on top, the green part anyway. And then I've got a couple of sprigs of fresh dill. I'm gonna go get the camera and zoom in so that you can see our finished product. Our sour cream dill red potato salad. I hope you'll try it sometime this summer, maybe the 4th of July. Now let's pull back so I can do a little taste. Whoops, sorry about that. Do a little taste test. Remember, it's supposed to cool, but I don't have time for that. People that work here will. So, let's try it. There's a book that I read called Gator Gumbo, and at the end of it, he goes, now this is just like Mama used to make. This is just like what Mama used to make. Until next time.